Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests, and my YouTube audience. Today, I am going to talk about my author hub. My name is Gina Akau, and I recently published a book called Tales of a Law School Dropout. And today, I'm going to talk about how I did it and what does this mean for you. My objectives of my speech today is to show you the advantages of creating a personal brand for your book, business, talent, not all of your authors, but maybe you have a passion that you want to share with people. The second objective is to promote your brand with a blog. Why is that something you should think about if you do have a passion or talent that you would like to share with other people? I would also like to show you the example of my author hub. If you were able to get my email in advance, it had a link to the author tour. So if you didn't see that, you can go back to my, my events page and then go to the link right there. And then I'd also like to show you how you navigate the various spokes of the hub. The hub is kind of like a wheel, and each spoke leads to other sources that help you to get your message out. And finally, I would like to show you how to connect with me on social media. All right, so my story is I went to UNR, I had an undergraduate degree in English, and I didn't really know what to do with it. I thought, well, great, I'll go to law school. That would be a brilliant idea. And it was not so brilliant. So what happened was I went to Las Vegas and I did a semester of law school and it was really a semester too long because I was really horrified by what lawyers have to do, what they have to read. It was just not a good fit for my skills. I had studied music and English. I played classical piano. I was a really nice person, which sometimes that doesn't fit the stereotype of lawyers. So yeah, law school lasted four months. And I came back, and as my friends were finishing their law degree in three years, I took six years to write a book about my law school experience. <laughs> so there it is. No more law school. Tales of Law School Dropout. Now, I didn't do this just by myself. I was a writer. I knew how to write. But I also didn't have a deadline to keep me going. So I joined High Sierra Writers, which is a local writers group. And my critique group met every two weeks, and I had to do 10 pages every two weeks, or else I'm out of the critique group. So I knew that I had a deadline, so I wrote my book that way, and I kept on feeding it through the critique group until it was really polished. So once I had that, I had to figure out how to get some of this information out so that people would buy the book. And I started a blog called Tales of Law School Dropout blogspot.com and it was too long to say and too hard to dictate to people so that was my first attempt at a blog but I will show you what it looks like real quick there it is it's a Google blog these are free so if you have any type of subject that you know a lot about you can just go to Google start a blog and there you go so I have several years of writing material right here that my audience would help find my book once it's ready to be sold. Problem is, I didn't know at the time that you should be promoting subscriptions to your blog. And I had 13, and one of the 13 is myself. So that was <laughs> something I learned the hard way. OK, so I was about ready to publish my book finally. And I didn't quite have the push. I felt like it was finished. I wasn't quite sure if it was finished. And I really needed a push from Toastmasters. And since I've been in Toastmasters for like seven years, I thought, OK, well, I'm going to use Toastmasters for, to my advantage, because they have something called a high performance leadership project that you need to complete if you want to have a DTM, which John Davis has. And not too many people have it. To complete this project, you have to pick a subject, you also have to pick a committee, and then they hold you to your project. You have to meet with them several times, you have an agenda, etc. So they got me to publish my ebook, Tales of Law School Dropout. 
I probably wouldn't have done it if I didn't have that deadline because, hey, I kept on advertising the launch date of my book and I said, oh, it's going to be summer 2012. Oh, wait, it's not going to be the summer of 2012. I'm going to take that, that video down. It's going to be January 2013. So, yes, they helped me complete my project. So, you have the ebook, Tales of Law School Dropout. That's how it was born. So if you want to go to the book and the website, you can find it on Amazon.com. Now it's free to actually put up any kind of material on Amazon. You don't have to be a special writer or anything. As long as you have Microsoft Word skills and you can follow the formatting guidelines, you can upload it for free and there it is. So, Tales of Law School Dropout, I had a friend of mine help me design the cover and take pictures of myself and that sort of thing. It's there for $9.99 and guess how many books sold? Twelve! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't advertise. Okay, so lesson learned. What's next? How am I going to be get people to buy this book? Well, I had read an entrepreneurial book a long time ago called Get Paid for Who You Are, which you know about starving artists, you, know, you have a passion and you're excited about it, but not other people because you don't know how to communicate it like a business. So this book, Get Paid for Who You Are, shows you how to do that. And I had read it a couple years ago and just didn't take action on it. So that leads me to the next step. Once I published my book, I had done a break-even analysis in Excel. And I understood that if I was going to pay for or at least break-even with the amount of money I put out to publish the book, which is to get the ISBNs and that sort of thing, then I should really treat this like a business. Get that word out. So I joined this virtual book tour by Deborah Lansky, and it is excellent. I have just started to follow her seven secrets, and if you're interested in them, you can go to her website, which is on digital publishing here. There she is. And the reason why I knew about this is because I was getting emails for about a year from this lady, Donna Kozak, and I was ignoring them for a long time until something would come up and that would apply to me and my situation. So. I found that email, I signed up for the seminar after this free, very comprehensive webinar that she gave, and I thought, this is really cool. This is how you get information out to people and actually make money doing it. So, let's see, virtual book tour, let's go to the next slide. That led me to create my author hub. Now, I had a lot of decisions to make with this. I had to decide where my hub was going to be, what agency or website would I use to create it, what kind of content did I want, what did I want to call it, should I add a keyword to the name so people would find it, what kind of brand was I creating. So I decided just to go with my name because I'm an author and I might have other books in the future. So I came up with the domain ginaacow.com. Pretty simple. And I used WordPress. Now WordPress is free to begin with, but when they start you out with a WordPress blog, they'll give you um, kind of a WordPress domain that goes with it. Now that kind of dilutes your brand. So that's why I had to pay an extra $18 a year to get ginaacow.com so that they don't have to type as many letters when they go to this website. So that is my personal brand and how I created it. And let me show you the website really quick. Here it is, ginaacow.com. Who is that? That's me. <laughs> All right. So there's a couple things that I learned as part of this virtual book tour class. They said that people don't just subscribe to blogs anymore. If you have a passion, people don't necessarily want to have that shared with them and have it visit their email inbox unless you give away something free. So at the top here, you'll have the top 10 career tips. And at first I named it from a law school dropout, but it really could apply to anyone who goes to an undergraduate program or a graduate school program and they get into something that they don't quite 
understand or like, and then they need to make other decisions. So that's my free gift that you get when you <laughs> subscribe to this blog. So it's kind of, they call it a ethical bribe, I think, but gift <laughs> is a nice, nice term. So you can also like this book on Facebook, which also helps get the word out, or you can read all of my blog posts. And since this is a new blog, I've got two. Now let's go to my PowerPoint again. Okay, so this is where the hub comes in. Oops, I don't want to go from the beginning. This is review. All right. <laughs> social media. Now people have mixed feelings about social media. There's Facebook. Facebook is really annoying because they keep on changing your wall. They keep on changing your permissions. This and that but it is a free marketing tool. If you have a passion, you want to get it out to people. So Facebook is actually instrumental in creating the spokes of my hub. So it's one of the spokes of my hub. LinkedIn is more professional than Facebook. I don't know if you know about it, but it's definitely also a professional tool that when I post links to my blog, my you know, various resources that I post there, then I can post it to Facebook and LinkedIn. Now, Twitter, I don't use that much because I'm not that concise, so I can't always fit everything that I want to say into the amount of characters that they want. But, luckily, when I post to LinkedIn, there's a little box that you can check that posts also to Twitter, so that saves me a little bit of time. Also, YouTube. One of the reasons why I'm recording this speech is that people really like to learn in different ways. Some people are visual, some people like to write things down, some people talk and they learn that way. Some people you know, will read and then they assimilate the information that way. So I just wanted to have one more tool where people could get this message and get excited about it too, it's excited as I am. So WordPress, of course, we're already covered, but that's my blog. So your homework for today, and I don't think you realize you had homework, but you do, because it's one of my speech requirements. And it is to navigate to ginaaccow.com. I'll send out the link if you don't want to write it down right now, but ginaaccow.com, like, comment, or share. So you'll find all the media icons on that website. And then if you really like the site, not if you don't, because then you'll have nagging emails from me, but if you like the site, go and subscribe to get your free gift. So, and also email me any questions if you want to. So in conclusion, why create your personal brand? Well, if you have a book like I do, or if you have maybe something that you make, or something that you're really good at, and you want to share that with other people, a blog is a really good way to do that. Also, you can promote your brand pretty easily and in a cost-effective way. And then finally, your blog becomes kind of a multi-spoke way of getting your message out. And then social media also helps build that enthusiasm for your subject. So if you have any questions, you can contact me. I have a contact page on my website, and I'll show you that right now. Here it is, contact me. You don't have to have a website, but you can just fill this out, send it, and it will go directly to me, and I will respond to your comment. Thank you for having me today. I, it was a pleasure speaking to you. <laughs>